This episode is brought to you by Cash App. When personal finance connects you to both your funds and the stuff that matters, that's money and that's Cash App. You know what else is money? Anytime I get to use nutmeg, practicing safe sausage stuffing, and Richard Schiff playing Odin. You know who I am? That's money. That's Cash App. Download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today to add your cash tag to the 80 million and counting. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're taking a look at the sausage from God of War Ragnarok. Now, given the first game's disproportionate amount of boar hunting in the first 10 minutes, I'm gonna guess that this sausage is made of boar. So I've got some boar here, freshly frozen from the specialty butcher and ready to be cut into one inch pieces in preparation for grinding. Now, as you can see, there's a decent amount of fat, but there's a lot of connective tissue, which doesn't make for good sausage. So in addition to our kilo of meat, I've got 100 grams of diced pork fat that I'm gonna add to the mix. All this is getting spread out evenly on a parchment paper lined rim baking sheet and placed in the freezer for about 20 minutes or until the edges of the meat begin to firm. Then everybody's getting passed through a thoroughly frozen meat grinder. Just one pass through the medium coarse plate to end up with some medium coarse boar, which before stuffing we must season. Now Brock and Sendry being of Norse mythology led me to believe that this sausage could be, here we go, let me see if I can pronounce this, Midishtapurcha, which we're going to spice with three teaspoons of kosher salt, three quarters of a teaspoon freshly grated nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ground clove, and between a quarter to a half a cup of chicken stock. All this is getting added to a quarter of a large grated onion, mixed until combined, and then dumped into our ground boar, mixed by hand until evenly combined and ready to fulfill its glorious sausage purpose. But before we bust out the sheep's intestines, we want to make sure that this is seasoned properly. So don't be afraid to grab yourself a patty, fry it up real quick, chop it in some pieces, over dramatically if possible, and give it a taste to see what it needs. Boar is mildly sweet and a little gamey, so it plays really nice with these spices, but I could tell immediately that I had forgotten an essential one, black pepper, and plenty of it because this funky, fruity sausage needs a little heat to balance things out. But even without the pepper, it's still pretty good. My crew ate the whole sample patty. I mean, I ate most of it, but still. And with that, it's time to finally thread the world's longest condom onto our sausage stuffer, treating it the way we would any condom, tying a tight knot on the end and poking a hole directly into the center while the condom is being worn. Ouch. You ever react physically to your own joke? Anyway, poking that hole helps to prevent an air pocket from forming as we begin to stuff. I've always had a great deal of difficulty with sausage stuffing, but was relieved to learn that it's usually a two-person operation. So just take your time and remember it's better to understuff than overstuff. Overstuffed sausages pop while understuffed sausages can be evened out once tied shut. Just massage the sausage until it's evenly firm throughout. Then both because I've never done it before and because it's a traditional way to prepare mishtaposha, we're coiling our sausage into a coil, which before cooking we must once again uncomfortably puncture about once every five Five centimeters to prevent a sausage blowout. Now given that this is God of War, I think we need to smoke these sausages over an open fire, trying to create an indirect heating environment by building the fire on one side of the pit and cooking the sausages on the other. So I got a nice little fire here that's just starting to turn to coals. I've got some chunks of hickory that I'm going to arrange around the fire for some extra flavor and smoke, but then comes the question of how to create a smoking environment over an open fire. And the answer is similar to what I would do in a gas grill. I'm sorry for the overexposure, but I'm setting up a water pan almost directly over the flames plopping a temperature probe next to it, and as far away from the fire as possible, placing our sausage coil, and then I'm gonna cover the whole thing with a large metal bowl. This will hopefully create a nice smoky environment, especially after I spill some water directly on the fire, one that by moving back and forth, we can hopefully maintain an ambient temperature of around 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, we're gonna smoke our sausages for the next 45 minutes to an hour and a half until the thickest point of the sausage registers 160 degrees Fahrenheit. From here, the smoked sausages can be chilled and served later, or if night is beginning to fall and you're trying to eat right damn now, you can build the fire back up to a raging blaze and use it to give your sausages one final searin. Place the grate over top, let it preheat for about five minutes, just like any grill. Place the sausages over top and sear until lightly browned. Give them a flip, grab the camera off the tripod to get a nice close up, and you know this guy is done when it looks like a Dutch postcard. Carefully grab it off the heat because as I learned, these coils are not permanent and it's ready to be served alongside a frosty pint of 5% lager, boiled potatoes, and a tilbeche of rockel. But I got something even better, a surprise guest. Ladies and gentlemen, the man himself to taste the sausage. We got the God of War, it's Kratos. Can you do the thing with the axe? So cool. Oh wait, no, you don't have to use the axe. I could get you a knife. All right, I guess that works. So what does the bald and bearded absolute unit have to say about my sausage? 
this boar? Was it slain by your hand or another? Oh no, I just went and got it at the um, <clears throat> store. So you were a coward. At least you will serve a purpose. Oh yeah, you're a video game character, so you're just gonna grab that sausage and put it in your pockets. Thanks again to Cash App. That's money, that's Cash App. Download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today to add your cash tag to the 80 million and counting.